Hey guys, so Ryan Irwin here with you. Today I'm gonna to show you what mile reps are. Now, uh, this is a real brief overview because I'm short on time and just finished up my training session, but the key on these is you're doing the reps in a fatigued state. So as you're gonna see, the first set is your activation set. Pick a weight, you can do eight to uh, 14 reps, uh, and then from there, you're only gonna rest five seconds. And then you're gonna do another uh, set, which you're probably only gonna get three to six reps, weight, another five seconds, do three to six reps. Now, every time you do those three to six reps, I call that a burst. And so if you've got two bursts or three bursts, you're gonna do an activation set and then those bursts, okay? So still count the reps on your activation set, but then on those bursts, you're just gonna do uh, count those reps. So again, this is a great exercise to do when you're short on time, or uh, if you wanna really just finish off a muscle group. Obviously, it's something that you need to use exercises that are more of an isolation focus. You can't do these on squats or any other major compound lift because the fatigue factor is so great. So here we go, check it out. Do my activation set first. All right, wait five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Here we go. First burst. <clears throat> Another five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Second burst. Three. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze out one more burst. Here we go. Three, four, five. Going for three reps here. All right, that's it. So again, use these on smaller isolation exercises. Make sure you get at least five seconds. And if you get less than three reps on a burst, you're done. If you get more than six reps, then probably need to go a little harder on that activation set. So give these a shot, nice addition to your training. Thanks for watching.